What's up guys, Jeff here with a new episode of Panini Unwrapped. I'm here with a guy who you may recognize and you may recognize as a card guy if you follow him on social media. This is the NASCAR driver, Cole Custer. What's up, Cole? Oh, not too much, just happy to be here. You know, Panini headquarters. Heck Pretty yeah, <laughs> heck yeah. So you just did a tour. What'd you think of the, the office here? It's pretty awesome. I mean, honestly, one of the coolest things about it was just like seeing different people's cleats and shoes. Like, oh yeah. All like uh, game worn and stuff like that. So it's, I mean, like you're holding, you know, like just really famous you know basketball football players shoes and it's like i never thought i would have done this in my life it's wild you know what always surprises me is the size of basketball players shoes yeah like wild i mean i could fit like three of my feet in there it looks like it's twice the size of my foot <laughs> I, <laughs> I know I, I, it's it's incredible i i've i've heard rumors about them throwing the shoes away and just wearing the boxes but i haven't actually seen that person <laughs> um so you are you're a professional race car driver. Like that is that is your job in life. Like how did you get into racing? Uh, I mean honestly, just since I was a little kid. You know, I started racing when I was five years old in go karts and quarter midgets and stuff like that. Yeah. And my dad's always been in the sport, so he got me into it when I was really young. And uh, it's just kind of been what I've known since I was a little kid, honestly. Oh my gosh, what? <laughs> so were you the kid that was always racing their friends, whether it was like bikes or scooters or go karts? Uh, I would say so for sure. I mean, we always, <laughs> you know, we're on our bikes or scooters, you know, racing each other and stuff like that. But, uh, you know, I played a lot of different sports when I was a kid too. I mean, I played baseball and football and soccer, you know, like, so I, I have an appreciation for all of them. Gotcha, gotcha. That's, uh, yeah, there, there's always that one friend that is like ultra competitive, is like, let's turn this into something, like yeah. race you to the tree. Um, so not only are you a professional NASCAR driver, but you're also a card guy. Mm -hmm. talk, talk to us about sports cards. Yeah, I mean, for me, it's just been since I was a little kid, you know, I had been around the racetrack and NASCAR since I was a little kid. So I, would, I remember going up to Kevin Harvick, you know, so yeah. and asking him to sign stuff. And I was, you know, now I'm his teammate. So it's, that is it's pretty insane. I mean, just, you know, but getting into it since I was a little kid and, you know, being where I am now and seeing my own trading cards is, it's pretty crazy. What, you know, what is it like to, well, at first, have a trading card out there, but have you ever actually like pulled your card from a pack? I, yeah, I have actually. Have. Yeah, I've, I've actually had a few where I get my own card and it's like, this is pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> that must be surreal. Like, I, I, I can't imagine. But speaking of cards, it wouldn't be unwrapped if we didn't open a product. So I've got uh, 2022 Donruss Racing. Yeah. And uh, you said you have not opened this product. Nope, haven't haven't done it. Perfect. First time here. All right. So uh, this, I'll just give you a basic overview. So um, there's eight cards per pack. There's 24 packs per box. Uh, you know, there's uh, one autograph on average, I believe, and memorabilia cards. So you got like. Uh, fire suits and, and all sorts of cool sort of memorabilia in these packs. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, this is, I've done, I've opened a couple of these boxes and it's always been fun, but my favorite part is the inserts. Mm -hmm. They've got some of the coolest inserts out there. So um, I guess we'll just go 12 and 12. Yeah, let's see what we get. All right, you want top or bottom here? Uh, I'll go top. All right, there you go. <laughs> Your 12. Sweet. I wish you luck, sir. And, and just go at your own pace. I open a little bit faster than the average opener, so yeah, I apologize. Get a little advance, excited. Yeah, I, I do. <laughs> I, I need to. Each I look at every box break as a treasure hunt. Yeah. It's kind of like my opportunity to be Indiana Jones in the sports card <laughs> area. See what you yeah, get. So I'm, I'm always looking for something special. Let's see. Yeah. So I'm going to show one of our uh, one of our base cars. So this is base cards. I should not. Chase Briscoe, this, so this is what the base looks like. And then, as I mentioned, there's a ton of really cool inserts and parallels in here. Another teammate right there. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. No kidding? Chase, Chase. He looks cute. That's a good picture. He, he did good. <laughs> well done, Chase. <laughs> Shout out, Chase. Yeah, I got a Dale Jr. one. That's nice. pretty solid. So when you, when you show the card, hold it out just a little bit longer yeah. so Matt can make sure to get a shot of it. He's got he's to gotta do all sorts of stuff over there, so. Got it? Sweet. All right, cool. So like, look at this This card. It's so, I grew up collecting in the 80s. Mm -hmm. There was nothing that looked remotely like this. Yeah. 
And so this is, uh, oh man, I'm probably gonna butcher this gentleman's name. Eric, Eric Almarola. He's Thank my teammate also. Oh yeah. yeah all my teammate cards did, are going did through. I, yeah, this is great. <laughs> I, I feel like you should one. be opening these packs. <laughs> Very cool. Shout out. I got a Terry Labonte one. This one's pretty cool. Like retro kind of Terry Labonte. As you said that, I pulled the Terry Labonte. You got Labonte. the Terry Labonte? Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> wait, these are slightly, so this is like a glossy. Oh, so this yeah. is the optic version. That one That is the Donner's. But you got, that's numbered out of two ninety nine. Yeah. So we got a Terry Labonte uh, optic here. So. I got another Terry Labonte one. What in the world? <laughs> Terry's got a set up right here. There we go. <laughs> so, uh. You said you collect primarily racing, which yeah. makes perfect sense. Is there any are, are there any other drivers you collect outside, you know, your own cards, which makes perfect sense? I mean, honestly, the ones that are coolest for me are the ones that were like the retro ones. You know, like when you see Terry Labonte, Richard Petty. You know, like yes. those are just the cool ones that, you know, like some of them were in my childhood, like Mike, Mark Martin, stuff yeah. like that. So like just the the retro kind of cards, I think, are the coolest. Is there any like? particular cards you've tried to hunt down like any low numbered or rare cards uh nothing crazy honestly i mean okay. i just kind of like open them and you know like seeing the like i said like the retro ones i just think that they're so cool because it kind of reminds you of your childhood and stuff like absolutely that. so you you collected as a kid as well as yeah a young you're still kind of a kid you know, man, but, <laughs> Come on. Uh, but as, as a little kid you collected <laughs> as well yeah yeah so it was definitely you know just kind of like what I said before, I mean, seeing like cards that I have myself on it, like it's, it's pretty crazy. <laughs> That's gotta be mind blowing. Mm -hmm. If I open up a, a box at some point in time, well, it would surprise everybody if I had a card in there, but I don't know <laughs> what I would day. do. <laughs> I might just retire as a card collector, finding my own card in a pack. Like, <laughs> like it, it's not gonna get any better. This one, Tony Stewart one. This is the boss right here. So that's a pretty special one for me. I mean, another one on our race team, so. Hey, I that like one this. pops too. I mean, it got got the gloss on it. So I like the car cards. I think I think those are always fun. Yeah. It's cool seeing what the drivers look like, but yeah. there's something about seeing the the famous car yeah. out there on a car. So I got a Kyle Busch. This is a really cool. These are elite. This is one of our insert sets in the series. Um, I'm hoping we get a big autograph. You know? Do you have autographs in this particular product? Honestly, I, I don't think I've signed these ones. Well, I don't have an autograph in here either, so we're, <laughs> we're, we're even. All right. So do you do you collect the teammates then? Yeah, I mean it's always cool, you know, like seeing because I mean I can bring that up to them and show it to them. Heck you know? yeah! I, so uh, Brittany Zamora, I am familiar with the name. Mm -hmm. I was told that she's one of our up and coming drivers. Is that yep. accurate? Yeah. Yeah. This is this is numbered out of two ninety nine. She has a just really popular social media following as well. Very cool. So I love this. This is uh, this card design is actually 1981 Donruss baseball design. It was the first year Donruss put out cards. Uh, we've jazzed it up and yeah. brought it out again. I, I just I like all the retro designs to to follow up what you said about those. I got a Bobby Labonte one here. So like, so Boom. Terry's brother right here. <laughs> but the Labonis are killing it. Is he <laughs> is he on the team as well? No, no. So he's actually uh, he drove for Gibbs. He drove for Petties, but he's, okay. he's retired now. Gotcha. So gotcha. Uh, Brad Keselowski. This is the championship drive. That's a cool one. Man, I love. Yeah, check that out. That is. Yeah. That is again the car card. One of my faves. There's no like different feel like. It's a really unique feeling when you open one of these packs. Like you just know that you're opening a card pack when you break that open. You oh know, yeah, like the, yeah. The plastic and everything. That's when the treasure hunt begins. <laughs> so, are there any other products you've opened that you're like, hey, that's really cool? Honestly, I think the coolest ones are like the national treasure ones. They're like the ones where you get the like part of the race suit it's, in it or the, the tire. Best. Like it is the best. It's pretty cool. I like if I could just sit around and break national treasures all day. <laughs> It would be like paradise. That'd be the life. That would be the <laughs> and, and they go so quick. You know, yep. there's like 10 cards in the mm -hmm. box and uh, every it's just the packaging. Everything is special yeah. and high end about that. But I think I watched one of your videos. Check out, you gotta check out Cole's uh, Instagram page. He's got a couple of his box breaks on there. Mm -hmm. What's your Instagram handle? Is it uh, Cole I think it's Custer just Cole 41? Custer. Yeah, okay. I might have a 41 on there on Instagram. Oh, Can't keep track anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Yeah, National Treasures. I'm trying to think what other... I think National Treasures is the only real high-end racing product I've 
broken, but do we have flawless or immaculate racing? No? Okay. Okay. I got a pretty cool one here. This one's got a piece of a tire or maybe a shoe in it. I can't tell, but it's a Corilla Joy car. car. So I pulled the same one, but it's some dude named Cole Custer. Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> it's, so this is actually race-worn used material. Is that tire? Uh, I think that's a part of a shoe right there. Is it? Or, or is it a tire? That Probably might be a tire. So, but... Yeah. Yeah, that, that's a Texas Motor Speed. That's where we're at this weekend. No kidding? Yeah. <laughs> the perfect card. That is awesome. That's a good one. If only I could get this autograph by Paul. <laughs> I know a guy. Yeah. <laughs> Put in the good word for me. I'm going to set that one aside. That's awesome, man. I was hoping I was going to pull at least one of your cards here. What are the chances? So we got Bubba Wallace. Shout out Bubba Wallace, who's also a card guy. Mm -hmm. He's is... He's got a car right there, right? That's one of yep. the car ones? Yep. That's a nice That's one. pretty cool. So this is like a gray parallel. These are... Um, some of the SP cards in mm -hmm. this. Uh, man, see, I just, I, I love, like these, again, I always go back to what were cards like when I was growing up, and man, these put them to shame. <laughs> <laughs> like the coolest cards from my childhood yeah. would be put to shame by any of these inserts. So here's another Kyle Busch. That's Race Kings, so we all know Diamond Kings in baseball. This is the Race Kings. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, that's good. And Alex Bowman, this is uh, Contenders. It's got he and the car on it, which is pretty cool. That's a good one. Oh, I got a Richard Petty one here. Whoa, that's the king. One. Yep, the there king. There we go. Man, that fire suit that he's wearing, I don't know. I doubt that's fire retardant whatsoever. Really? <laughs> <laughs> that does not look like it's keeping anyone no, from... <laughs> Fire there. Oh wow, I got a pink parallel here. Kyle Larson. It's a pink one? Yep. Check that oh, that's out. Pretty that's sweet. bright. Yeah. And that's numbered out 25. No wonder. Oh, that's it's a good special. one. Yeah. Very okay, cool. So is that? Oh. oh man, got the Joey Logano numbered out 199 under the yeah. lights. I got I got a Joey one too right here. There you go. Not to be outdone. We, uh, there's Terry Labonte again. So the Labonte's just, they're crushing it. I'm gonna put stuff. that over there, that's your guy. <laughs> um, that, that is one thing about Donruss is that, man, there's a lot of bang for your buck. In yeah. Here. We, I mean, we've already pulled two, two mem cards, tons of numbered cards. So talk to us about this weekend. What's on your mind for this weekend? Oh, well, it's the all-star race. So Very cool. It's a really big weekend. We're going for a million dollars. So no kidding. it's all pretty much win win or nothing you know so you gotta go out there and just put it all on the line and uh it doesn't matter points don't matter so it's all about trying to get a win no oh. kidding so nothing matters unless you take the the check yeah, flag as long as wow. if you don't if you finish second it do doesn't matter whatsoever really does it help <laughs> in your rankings at all no, no no points nothing okay so okay. it's all about the money but i got a good one here it's i got assigned eric Dude. jones so i'm actually friends with eric so really? this is pretty sweet the auto has been pulled yeah. shout out eric that's, or Richard hey, Petty that's Motorsports. A, that's a sharp looking card. Very nice. Well, see, I'm always happy when the guest pulls the auto because then I feel <laughs> bad if I get it and then you don't. How much do you um, oh, It doesn't say if it's out of anything. Oh, it doesn't? Oh, oh yeah, six out of, out of 17. Dude, Dude that's, that's a, a low number. Yeah. Heck yeah. Chase Elliott, this is a uh, optic. I got, so, uh, I got Kevin Harvick right here, another teammate. It's a solid one right there, which is pretty cool. doing this as you mentioned the name. <laughs> you got one I too? I also pulled a Kevin Harvick. So, uh, is there any way I can convince you, if you take the checkered flag this weekend, to maybe loan me a couple grand or something? Uh, maybe box, yeah. buy me a box of cards? Uh, I could buy a good amount of national treasure. <laughs> <Dude>. <laughs> so let me ask you, say you bring home the prize this weekend, well, I mean, what was the first thing you would you would do with a million bucks is a lot of money. I don't even know. <laughs> you know like, I mean, let's get it first, then we'll figure it out. Yeah, I think, yeah, that's that's the plan. Probably, probably try and win the race first, sure. then we can worry about what to do with the money. <laughs> uh, that that's that's a good game plan. I, I'm kind of ashamed of my uh, my stacks over here. I'm usually much more organized. I'm trying to keep organized. Here. But it's a lot of cards. You're doing pretty well. I mean, it's you're a lot of cards well. to handle over here. It is, well, that's that's the good thing about Donruss Racing. Yeah. Is you get a lot of cards in that box. 
is uh, if I could do the math in my head, 24 packs by eight, somebody. I'm trying not somebody to like use your iPhone calculator. Or yeah, yeah, we gotta be careful. So you were a legit collector. See, that, that's how we, we weed <laughs> out the guys that are just uh, just opening cards versus the guys that are collecting. That's as, right. Uh, you care about the corners, <laughs> you, you're organizing, I like it. So we got a Kyle Busch out of 99. It's a solid one. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. So I wonder with racing cards, because mm -hmm. you know, like a lot of with with uh, other sports, if you get their jersey number out of so, if let's say Kyle Busch out of jersey was number eighteen, mm -hmm. he's number eighteen racing. Is it if you get eighteen on ninety nine, does that command any sort of premium? Do you know? Hmm. It might. Because I think it's worth asking about. Okay. Yeah, I'll, <laughs> I'll look into that for us. So you probably come in the DFW area periodically, a couple times a year, I would guess. Yeah, yeah, we come here a couple times a year for the Texas races. You do, yep. okay. Do you have a favorite barbecue place yet? Honestly, we go to Hard Eight every single time we come here. That's great. Yeah. The one in uh, Colleyville. Uh, honestly, I don't know the town. Okay, that's all right. That's <laughs> all, all right. I know is that they have some really good barbecue. Hard Eight is great, man. That you're you're doing it right. So. Got Mark Martin, this is another elite. Nice. All right, those are. Yeah, that's a cool one. I got Dale Jarrett here. That's a retro one. Boom. Commentator now. So nice. I don't, I don't know what you have going on this afternoon. You probably have lots, lots of obligations. But there is a card show. Yeah. The Dallas card show is out in Allen. If you, mm -hmm. if you're interested in seeing a ton of cards and. Yeah. Picking up some cool stuff. It's actually funny you said that because some of my guys on my pit crew have gotten really into it. Yeah. So their first stop when they come off the plane this weekend is going straight to that card show. Oh, really? Yeah. So they're going to card shop. They're going straight yeah. to the show. You guys are a legit part of the community if you yeah. already knew about the show. That's, <laughs> I got that's a cool one. I got Casey Kane here. That's a retro one. He's retired too. This looks like it's almost, might be from his like rookie year. No, this is yeah, this a young this is younger Casey one. Kane? Young, young Casey Kane one. Got this really cool victory laps a set of Jeff Gordon. That's a cool one. Are Another you already? Oh man, you're pulling through. Oh, it's all right. Oh no, I got one more. Yeah, I got well, one here. more pack. I'm hooking you up. <laughs> it's way more fun for you to talk about the cards. Than me. <laughs> oh man, so are so are you gonna make it to the show? I, honestly, I got some time here after this, so I might might try and swing by. I might see you out there. I gotta I gotta go out there and. Meet up with a couple people just shortly, but yeah. yeah. If I see you out there, man, Sweet. I'm gonna tell everybody that's Cole Custer. <laughs> Get his autograph here, some of those cards. Yeah, I'm just I would. <laughs> I got a good Richard Petty one here. He's got this one. He's got the the cowboy hat on, so that's a, that's a oh song. It's yes, got the, it's the cool legend design too. That is yeah. very cool. Do you ever do you ever buy any of the older racing product? Because the racing cards have been around since the 80s. Yeah, I, I honestly, I don't have any of the older ones. I've really? just had the ones since I was a little kid or the ones that they have now, you know? <laughs> Very cool. Well, man, there there is, I, that is one thing I love about the hobby is it, it's expanding so much. Every sport is becoming more sophisticated. All the yeah. products are becoming yeah. more cool. And yeah, there is. So I'm going to end with this Ryan Newman Race Kings because that one of my favorite inserts from this product. This one's cool, and this is actually like a playoff card almost from uh, Ryan Blaney. So it looks like round the, they made the round the 16 in the playoffs. Oh wow, is so that numbered? They, that looks like a gold see. parallel. Uh, it, no, it's not numbered, it doesn't look like. Okay, that's yeah. cool. Yeah, that's a cool one. I'm also gonna show this Haley Deegan, one of our favorite drivers here. Got another one of my own right here. That's how I'm gonna end. Boom! Yeah, last pack, I got one of my own. How appropriate. <laughs> Sorry if I just blew the sound guy's ears out with that clap. Dude, that's awesome. Yeah. Hey, Cole, this no. was a blast, man. No, thanks for having me do it. Thank you so much. Like, uh, it, it was really fun having you office. You're a great guy. It was a pleasure opening cards with you. And with a little luck, I might see you at the Dallas Card Show. Today. Yeah, for sure. But honestly, I mean, coming here and seeing what you guys do, I mean, it is, I saw some of the coolest things I've ever seen. I mean, with the shoes, the signed shoes, the helmets, I mean, the jerseys, everything about it was, was pretty life-changing. Well, will you come back and visit us again? I need to, yeah, well, for sure. When, when National Treasures comes out again, you gotta come That's by right. and we'll, we'll open a couple boxes, or a box or two. Can't go throwing around National Treasures. <laughs> you know how it is. 
Well, hey, good luck this weekend, and it was really nice meeting you, and uh, see you guys next time.